Hello, it's Justin Briley here from Premier's Unbelievable podcast. Before we begin today's episode, I wanted to let you know that over the past year, we've been partnering with Compassion to find sponsors for children in developing countries around the world. Over 200 children have now been sponsored, but there are over a quarter of a million still waiting. I need your help. Join me in sponsoring today. For only $38 a month, you're providing a child with food, education, medical care, and Jesus. Every child in the Compassion Programme learns about Jesus. And all the work is done through the local church and local people. But it's more than money. You'll write letters to your child and receive letters in return. Being a sponsor to a child in poverty brings hope where none existed before. Join me today. Go to compassion.com forward slash Justin and I have a gift for you when you sponsor. I'm giving you a copy of my book, unbelievable that's compassion.com slash justin bringing the word to life the bible in a year ezekiel chapter 35 the word of the lord came to me son of man set your face against mount seir prophesy against it and say this is what the sovereign lord says I am against you, Mount Seir, and I will stretch out my hand against you and make you a desolate waste. I will turn your towns into ruins, and you will be desolate. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you harboured an ancient hostility and delivered the Israelites over to the sword at the time of their calamity, the time their punishment reached its climax. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will give you over to bloodshed, and it will pursue you. Since you did not hate bloodshed, bloodshed will pursue you. I will make Mount Seir a desolate waste, and cut off from it all who come and go. I will fill your mountains with the slain. Those killed by the sword will fall on your hills, and in your valleys, and in all of your ravines. I will make you desolate forever. Your towns will not be inhabited. Then you will know that I am the Lord." Because you have said, These two nations and countries will be ours, and we will take possession of them, even though I, the Lord, was there. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will treat you in accordance with the anger and jealousy you showed in your hatred of them, and I will make myself known among them when I judge you. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have heard all the contemptible things that you have said against the mountains of Israel. You said, They have been laid waste and have been given over to us to devour. You boasted against me and spoke against me without restraint, and I heard it. This is what the Sovereign Lord says, While the whole earth rejoices, I will make you desolate. Because you rejoiced when the inheritance of Israel became desolate, that is how I will treat you. You will be desolate, Mount Seir, you and all of Edom. They will know that I am the Lord. The Vision of Obadiah This is what the Sovereign Lord says about Edom. We've heard a message from the Lord An envoy was sent to the nations to say, Rise and let us go against her for battle. See, I will make you small among the nations. You will be utterly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You who live in clefts of the rocks and make your home on the heights. You who say to yourself, Who can bring me down to the ground? Though you soar like the eagle and make your nest among the stars... From there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. If thieves come to you, if robbers in the night, oh, what a disaster awaits you! Would they not steal only as much as they wanted? If grape pickers came to you, would they not leave a few grapes? But how Esau will be ransacked, his hidden treasures pillaged, All your allies will force you to the border. Your friends will deceive and overpower you. Those who eat your bread will set a trap for you, but you will not detect it. 
In that day, declares the Lord, will I not destroy the wise men of Edom, men of understanding in the mountains of Esau. Your warriors, O Teman, will be terrified, and everyone in Esau's mountains will be cut down in the slaughter. Because of the violence against your brother Jacob, you will be covered with shame. You will be destroyed for ever. On the day you stood aloof while the strangers carried off his wealth and foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem, you were like one of them. You should not look down on your brother in the day of his misfortune, nor rejoice over the people of Judah in the day of their destruction, nor bore boast so much in the day of their trouble. You should not march through the gates of my people in the day of their disaster, nor look down on them in their calamity in the day of their disaster, nor seize their wealth in the day of their disaster. You should not wait at the crossroads to cut down their fugitives, nor hand over their survivors in the day of their trouble. The day of the Lord is near for all nations. As you have done, it will be done to you. Your deeds will return upon your own head. Just as you drank on my holy hill, so all the nations will drink continually. They will drink and drink and be as if they had never been. But on Mount Zion will be deliverance. It will be holy and the house of Jacob will possess its inheritance. The house of Jacob will be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame. The house of Esau will be stubble and they will be set on fire and consume it. There will be no survivors from the house of Esau. The Lord has spoken. People from the Negev will occupy the mountains of Esau, and people from the foothills will possess the land of the Philistines. They will occupy the fields of Ephraim and Samaria, and Benjamin will possess Gilead. This company of Israelite exiles who are in Canaan will possess the land as far as Zarephath. The exiles from Jerusalem who are in Sepharad will possess the towns of the Negev. Deliverers will go up on Mount Zion to govern the mountains of Esau, and the kingdom will be the Lord's. Psalm 108 my heart, O God, is steadfast. I will sing and make music with all my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, Judah is my scepter, Moab is my wash basin, on Edom I toss my sandal over Philistia. I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God, you who have rejected us and no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. For more resources to help you bring the word to life, go to premier.org.uk slash Bible. This reading has been taken from the NIV Bible Biblica and is published by Hodder and Stoughton.